everybody and welcome back to my videos. My name is Natasha May and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. It is a fun and exciting one. Well, I at least personally think it is. Um, if you're new here, please go down below. You can hit the subscribe button to join our fun family. If you're not new here, welcome back to my videos. I'm so glad that you have decided to come and join me again this week. So today's video has a few ground rules, but before we get to them, let's get to what it actually is. So I will be crocheting for a whole day and just seeing how much I can get done. So I'm going to take it as a working day, not as in a 12 hour day, just because I am a wife and I am a mum to two beautiful fur babies and I do have to make sure that I'm taking care of them. So if I just disappear for 12 hours, it's not going to go so well. So I am going to take it as a working day, but I'm going to get up super duper early so that I can maximize that day, if that makes sense. Some of the rules. What I have told myself is that I will be waking up at 5 a.m. and I will be trying to go till 5 p.m. So in a sense, I am trying to hit that 12 hour mark. We'll just see how it goes because I do have some responsibilities. So if I do have to stop here and there, that comes to rule number two is that if I do need to stop to take Archie out or to play with him or to tend to Leo or anything like that, I will be giving myself that chance to stop and tend to what needs to be tended to. I'm not going to just completely put my life on pause and neglect all of my animals and all of my responsibilities. I'm not going to be putting too much pressure on myself. Um, I'm just going to see how it goes and hopefully we can hit that 5am till 5pm time mark, but we'll see how I go. To start off with, I just have two projects that I'm going to be focusing on tomorrow. The first one is just for when I need a break from the second one because the second one will be pretty repetitive. Um, it's just, the first one is just a baby blanket. And then the second project that I'll be working on is a Christmas tree ornament for my husband's class. I like to make them a little gift at the end of every year that he can give them. Um, it's just a little bit more special than something that we can just go and buy from the store. And because he works at a small school and I got the privilege of teaching in the other class throughout the year, I will also be making the other class them as well. So because it's a small school, I only have to make 32 of them, which is great, but 32 of them is still a lot and I only have under a week to get them done. So hopefully I will get majority of them done tomorrow. That is all from me for now. So let's skip to me from tomorrow. See ya. Just pop myself on the top. 
where everybody it is just turned six o'clock and I will show you what I've been working on it's been about 45 minutes I think I started at 5 15 officially um, this is the final strip of a baby blanket that I've been working on so I did the whole yellow patch and now I'm working on the gray patch and I will show on an overlay what the baby blanket currently looks like and hopefully I will get this whole strip done today which means the only thing I'll have left is to join all the strips together so that's what I've been working on but now I'm kind of warmed up and I'm ready to start the project what I was supposed to um, dedicate today to so I'm going to try and find a photo and put it on the overlay maybe right here and I'm going to link the YouTube video that I'm using for the pattern down below um, but I'm going to load up that YouTube video and I'm going to get straight into the Christmas trees. By the sounds of it, no one is awake yet and the sun is well and truly up. I will do a little film of what it looks like outside now. I was going to film the sun actually coming up, but it wasn't a very beautiful <laughs> sunrise. <laughs> and my husband is awake and so is Lou Archie. What I've been doing for the past hour was starting to make the Christmas tree ornaments. So they look like this. I've made four bases so far. I'm making them on all different shades of green. Um, so it's two hours down what I've done so far. Is a little bit on that strip for my baby blanket and then four tree ornaments. Um, so yeah, I'm going to, I haven't had breakfast or anything like that, so I'm going to have a break now, probably for the next hour, just so I can be with my husband and with my puppy and kitten. Um, so I'm going to go out and have some breakfast and just have a little bit of a relax, drink some water, and yeah. So I will be back around maybe 8, and then that's when I'll pick up again and keep on going. <music> guys it is now 7 56 my husband has just left for work i've just put archie in the carport which is generally where he stays during the day if we are going out or doing stuff um and leo is in the laundry where he's got plenty of space all his toys his bed his litter his food everything and i can just hear him in the background he's just having a ball just playing with his little rattle toys so i'm just going to get back into it whilst both of them are 
relaxed. I will stop every hour just to give you a little bit of an update and every two hours I will be having a complete break just to kind of stretch my legs, um, play with Archie, give him a little bit of exercise and so on. It is so hot today. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it's been like moody weather for the past like two weeks. It's been like raining and cold and grey clouds and I was like this is the perfect week to do this video in because it's so like you know, you just want to like snuggle up on the couch and crochet and watch movies. And today is going to be 28. It's like the ideal beach day, get outside day, um, although you would roast. And it is already very, very hot. Let's stop the chat. Let's get back into it. I'm still watching my episode. I'm going to jump straight back into making some of the trees. And I'm already sweating. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go. I think I'm going to move out to the living room because I just got a text from the post saying that an important package is coming today and I'm pretty sure I've got a sign for it. I'm going to move to the living room that way I can be there when, like I can hear when they come and knock. I am very tired. I was up from five so I've done three hours of straight crocheting with an hour break in between.
everybody. It is now 10.53, so it's almost 11 o'clock. My shoulder is really killing me from the chair I've been sitting in. I really need to relocate and sit somewhere where I can just kind of rest my back because I've just been sitting up straight the whole time. So yeah, my shoulder is killing me. My thumb is killing me <laughs> and I need a little bit of a break. I've got some washing to go hang out on the line and I'm just going to maybe um, make myself something to eat or maybe something to drink and just relax for maybe the next 15 minutes. Just give myself a break and then sit up on the couch. I think that way I can just lean in and relax a little bit. Archie's with me, he's sleeping. Leo's also gone off and he's sleeping. Update, I have made 16 of the little tree things that look like this. So once I finish all of the bases, I will then go back through and do all of the trunks. And then to finish it off, I will do the ornament part at the top. I must say it gets a little tiresome doing the same project the whole time. So that's why it's nice to even just mix it up with the color of the wool. Yeah, so while I'm having my break, I might look at some other projects that I want to do um, today as well. in a day it is currently 3 40 and I started at 5 a.m. and so I'm just gonna consider that a working day that's about nine hours of straight crocheting I had lots of fun however it does get a bit tedious when you're just doing the same thing over and over and over but I knew that I had a deadline to get these Christmas tree ornaments done so I actually finished 32 of the bases which I'm really, really happy about. Now I just need to do the stems, which won't take long at all. I'm going to stop here for the day. I didn't actually get to finish my baby blanket, so that's something that's still on my to-do list. I think I've only got two squares left though, so really close on my baby blanket as well. So I feel really productive. I feel like I got a lot done today. It doesn't feel like a lot, and especially because it's nothing, none of the stuff that I crochet, I hardly ever keep it. So I spend all this time crocheting it, and then I just, gift it away and I never see it again. It's just the process that I enjoy. I enjoy sitting down. I actually watched the whole first season of You today. So if you've seen that, please comment down below. It's such an interesting show. Thank you very much for watching. If you made it this far, please give it a thumbs up just to show that you're one of the people that made it all the way through. Comment down below if you'd like me to do a video like this again. We'll try and put in some photos. If I have finished the Christmas trees, I'll put in a photo. Hopefully I will have the Christmas trees done by the time I edit this. So I will put a photo in of the finished product. Thank you so much again for watching. It's been a great, fun and relaxing day for me. I'll see you next week.